Hey guys, it's Darwin, and well, I quit. So, this is probably a long time coming, and no, the title of this video is not clickbait. I am finished making YouTube videos. Sorta, and I'll, I'll elaborate on that here in a second. But if you haven't noticed, over the past year, I have really taken a step back from making consistent YouTube content. And to be honest, that was the whole plan for 2021. So the reason I'm bringing all this up is because I want you guys to know going forward, my goal as a creator and as somebody that aims to inspire people is not to play the algorithm game anymore. And it's, it's not to make the same types of videos that I've been making for five years. It's really to do something different. So the deal that I made with myself last year was I was only gonna make YouTube videos if I really wanted to and if I had something to say and if I had the time. And the truth is I really haven't wanted to and I definitely haven't had the time. When I went out to hike the CDT last year, I really wanted to take a break from constantly producing YouTube videos, putting a video out every week and being relevant and just enjoy the hike. And honestly, I went out to the CDT for closure. Well, I could give you some generic answer of that I'm out here to find myself or to go on this grand adventure or to, uh, I don't know, but I think the main reason I'm out here is for closure, whatever that means to anybody. Well, when I got done with the trail in October, I got inspired again to start making videos and I started putting out my CDT videos. But the truth is I got crazy busy with all the other things that I have going on in life and I just didn't have time to continue making those videos and I don't really have the time now. Like I've said multiple times in the past, hiking and YouTube is not my life anymore. Um, I've mentioned multiple times, I actually own and run a production company, a media company. We do a ton of different documentary work, film work, uh, work for clients, and things like a podcast and a bunch of stuff over at Outdoor Evolution. And over the past handful of years with having that company, YouTube, became more of a hobby again, just like it was when I started the channel back in 2015. I've said it multiple times over the past year, I'm not interested in playing the algorithm game anymore. I don't wanna keep making the same video over and over and over, year after year after year, talking about a hike that I did seven years ago. There are tons of channels, backpacking and hiking channels, here on YouTube that are more than happy to do that, but for me, I just don't feel creative in that space anymore. I don't feel like I have anything else to say about long distance trails, shoes, backpacks, and tents. I feel like uh, I've said my piece over the past seven years. Look, all that being said, I have really enjoyed growing this channel over the past seven years. And I can't even begin to express uh, the gratitude that I feel for it allowing me to do so many amazing things and grow such a big audience and help to inspire other people. But the truth is, I've grown out of it. As a creative person, I just don't get the same creative spark as I used to in the early years when I was starting the channel. And I feel like I accomplished what I set out to do in 2015 when I started making YouTube videos and that was to inspire people, at least I hope that's what I've done. So what do I mean by I quit sorta? Well, first off, the channel isn't going anywhere. There's almost seven years of informational and I guess entertaining videos here on the channel that can hopefully continue to inspire people to get into backpacking, long distance hiking, and maybe even bike packing. So the channel's not going anywhere. I'm not gonna delete anything like some people do. Uh, secondly, Sorta of because there's a chance that I could still post something on this channel. I'm just not gonna make it uh, a priority to post on the channel. I have a ton of projects that I'm currently working on. And you know, stopping the YouTube channel doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop adventuring or traveling anytime soon. 
Actually, this year in 2022, I'm probably traveling and doing more diverse things than I ever have over the past seven years. The content just won't live here on YouTube. I might not even really make content on a lot of these trips that I'm doing. Right now, I'm working on a documentary film series about the outdoor community and public lands that hopefully, hopefully, if we can find the right funding for it, it will be available for free on YouTube. And I would love to promote that here on the channel. In June, I'm actually headed to Fiji to shoot a documentary film with Jennifer Farr Davis and Sawyer Water Filters, and I would love to share some information about that here on the channel with you guys. Not to mention some of the gear that I'm currently working on at Outdoor Evolution. We have our sun hoodie that is very, very close, and it's actually developed into a natural fiber sun hoodie. I can't wait to share that with you. And I'm even currently working on designing a brand new backpack. So aside from all of that going on, those projects, I'm also doing a lot of personal traveling and adventuring this year. I'm headed over to Great Britain to cycle from Land's End for 1,200 miles up to the northern tip of Scotland. Then I'm heading to Nepal to do a hike around Mount Everest. Oh, I almost forgot. I'll also be out at AT Trail Days in May in Damascus, Virginia with a booth for Outdoor Revolution. So if you're in the area, come say hello. So with all of that, I cannot thank you guys enough for the past seven years, for supporting my channel, for watching my content, for liking, for commenting, for supporting what I do and inspiring me to continue being creative, to continue reaching for my goals and my dreams. Whether you guys realize it or not, you have helped change the trajectory of my life and helped set me on a path and help me accomplish some pretty amazing things. And I cannot thank you enough for that. For everyone that wanted to see me finish the CDT, obviously I'm not gonna be finishing that video series, but I have put a little something together so you can at least see me hike the rest of the trail and finish at the Mexico border at the monument. So again, thank you guys so much. I love you for all of the support you've given me over seven years and enjoy. That's it. Thank you guys for six years. Thanks for watching.